Hey everyone, my name's James, I'm a cosplayer. I go by the name Quantum Cosplay. You've probably never heard of me, that doesn't matter. What does matter is that these series of videos are gonna be about the fact that I am partnering up with Warner Brothers this year at London MCM May Comic Con 2018 at the XL to promote Batman Ninja. And this video is gonna be all about how you can make your very own Batman Ninja cosplay. Right, so the next part of the costume that we're gonna go through is the gauntlet and the shin pieces. Now essentially they're the same, one is just a lot bigger than the other. And for this I have used EVA foam floor mats. Now EVA foam is a really simple and very popular way of making costume parts for your cosplay. Now your EVA foam sheets look like this. You can pick them up anywhere at any craft store, hobby place, DIY store. And then you've got craft foam, which come in sheets like this, and larger ones. It's a lot more flexible and we use this for the detailed areas of the pieces. Now you're also going to need a hot glue gun and a heat gun and then the harder part is your template. Now templates you can purchase some online or you can make them yourself. I've made these myself and I'll show you them here. This is the rear of my gauntlet and you've got the front of the gauntlet. Now the best tips I can give you if you're making your own is just imagine the piece you want to create and imagine it unfolding to a 2D flat shape. And then if you want to make an outward curve on a piece or an inward curve, outward curves just cut a slit in the foam and insert a piece to make it bulge. The opposite with that is to create an inward curve is to cut a piece out of the foam and then join it together and you cause it to curve inwards. So once you've got your templates, transfer them onto the EVA foam and cut them out. You can cut them out with scissors or a Stanley blade. Either's fine. I actually use scissors. A lot of people will say use a Stanley blade for a knee to cut. Scissors are fine because you can always go over it with a rotary tool afterwards and just rub the edges down. Now, once you've got your shape, your template transferred onto the EVA foam and it's cut out, you need to use your heat gun. And you use your heat gun to heat the foam up, which will cause it to bend slightly and allow you to bend it into certain shapes. So once you've done that and you've got that, for example, these two pieces cut out in EVA foam floor mats, you then super glue them together with hot glue and then bend them round. And so, as you can see here, mine have then joined with a piece of elastic. And again, you can get elastic from any craft store, DIY store, and it's just hot glued in there because otherwise you're not gonna be able to get your hand in there. And then once you've, you're satisfied with the shape of your piece, Again, so I've used thicker EVA foam here for the details, and then the smaller details, the craft foam. The fins are all made out of the same floor mat stuff. Once you're happy with your shape, you then need to seal it. Now, you can get professional sealers for cosplay costumes online, or if you're on a budget, use PVA glue. The sealer is obviously a bit better, but PVA glue works fine. I've used it a lot. I've used it for these pieces and a couple of layers will just help seal the paint just to help so that when you paint your piece hopefully it'll avoid it cracking as much as possible so then all you've got to do is paint it up and you're ready to go